It means a lot. All of my kids grew up here in the Fruit Belt. They went to school here. We go to church here. All new on 7 Eyewitness News at 5.30 tonight, the age-old question, what's in a name? Good evening once again tonight, protecting the identity of Buffalo neighborhoods and the local lawmaker who is leading the charge. 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley working the story for us tonight. We all live here together, so I got good neighbors. And the food belt is it. When it comes to your neighborhood, it means community. Just ask Charlotte Autry, a resident of Buffalo's Fruit Belt for 46 years. Neighbors here have been fighting gentrification as the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus has dominated the east side neighborhood. But most recently, residents are fighting to make sure the historic Fruit Belt name is preserved forever. The name of a community is very, very important. You know, there was a time when you said Fruit Belt and you thought of negative. And now that this community is turning around for the positive, they don't want their name to change. Ellicott District Common Council member Darius Pridgen is proposing legislation called Protection of Neighborhood Names to make sure you will always find the Fruit Belt on any map of Buffalo. At one point, a Google digital map was changed, identifying the neighborhood only as the medical campus. But it was changed back to fruit belts. But I'd like to see this in the city charter. Pridgen's proposal calls on the city to establish an official neighborhood map, making permanent boundaries for the fruit belt. Where the name of the fruit belt is in the city charter um, on, for our lifetime. The neighborhood runs along the medical corridor of High Street, up to Jefferson and along the 33 Expressway, with street names that include lemon, peach, and grape, historically named because German immigrants first planted fruit and vegetable orchards. I heard they was trying to destroy the name Fruit Bell. Our pastor wanted us to stay still and take care of our property over here. More importantly, this would protect the sense of community and lead to more citizen engagement, truly becoming the city of good neighbors. Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.